does Sasha Banks wrestle in AEW or Ooh. WWE next year or neither? She's supposed to be at the Tokyo Dome to uh, not to wrestle, but to possibly challenge for the stardom belt that there, that is being defended there. And I think part of her calculus here is a, she obviously has a lot of respect for international wrestling for Lucha Libre for Japanese wrestling. Um, but some of this is also uh, kind of, I think sort of going like, okay, like, I'm going to show the two biggies. I don't really need them because I can go elsewhere to wrestle. I could do stuff outside of wrestling. I'm, I'm versatile. And almost to, to make the two biggies like want her more than they want her currently. Like I, I, I've heard that, you know, actually we, I've talked to, to, to Dave Meltzer about this. And, you know, WWE sees her below the Becky Charlottes of uh, of that company, right? So she they they have her pegged underneath. Um, AEW, she'd immediately be the best women's wrestler on that brand, and her and Jamie Hayter would be at the top of my list of of matches that I would want to see in AEW. But uh, she could pick neither. She could just do what she does, and then you know get 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 into TV and and movies if she can, and just do other stuff outside of wrestling. So. Let's start with Jeremy. AEW, WWE, or neither? I, I'm going to say neither. I think she plays the game of going to Japan, going to Mexico, um, really just kind of wrestling when she wants to, um, and then doing a lot of the extracurricular things that she has her hands in. Um, obviously, she's she's starring in, in shows now. She's been on The Mandalorian um i think she has like a cbd company as well i think that's like, like an yeah. award-winning cbd company snoop doggy uh, dog and so like she's got a lot of things going on i don't think she needs AEW or wwe at the moment i think eventually she might return to the wwe but i think for 2023 i think she plays the field and i think she really ups her value um because this whole or this whole notion that she's below charlotte and becky is absurd um, she is world class, and so um, I think she is. She's going to show them in 2023. I think 2023 is a massive year for her in in kind of growing her brand outside of of, of WWE and becoming more of seen as Mercedes versus Sasha Banks. All right, Ryan, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with a lot of what Jeremy said. I think. And for a lot of the women in WWE, their best matches have been with her. She's that one constant. It's totally yeah. ludicrous to act like she would be below Becky and Charlotte uh, in any capacity. Um, I feel like if that was you know, communicated to her as reported, that she's going to have a chip on her shoulder. And it's hard for me to imagine her going right back to WWE. I think she'll end up there eventually. But right now, she probably wants to prove them long, wrong. So, you know, whether that is just doing the indie thing, going over to Japan and Mexico or going to AEW for a little while, at least. I, I, I would say AEW if it's one of the two for the immediate future, just because of how things have shook out at WWE recently with her. All right, Ben. I would say WWE that she'll eventually be back. I think by I. Maybe this is wishful thinking by Mania. And look, she because she doesn't need to rush it, right? Like when did when did they get out of there? It was kind of like around May of this year, right? Where things kind of broke down. So she's had a lot of time to kind of do her thing. And and in some way, she's kind of outgrown WWE, right? Once you enter the Star Wars universe, <laughs> I don't know. That's a whole other it's a whole other monster than than WWE fans, right? So she's already there. And Obviously, she's, she's going to do the New Japan thing. But I feel like she's going to be back in WWE. She, I think she's going to get the bag. I think all this stuff leaking with how much he's making in New Japan uh, is it, it's it's a leverage play, as it should be, Yep, yep. for her negotiations with WWE and, and, and potentially AEW when she has those conversations. Her her husband works for WWE. I, I think there's a comfortability there um, of, of kind of going home. You know what I mean? And and I think at some point it's it's got to be I, – I still think she loves wrestling, right? 
and like I at least I want to believe that. So I feel like it's going to be WWE, and because to Ryan's point, like it could it be AEW, but they sign like they sign people. Like it's the NBA in freaking <laughs> the mid two thousands. They're like, "Hey, six year deal for you." You're like, "What?" For, for that person, they're giving out so, those Timothy Mozgov deals there, right? Yeah. And so, <laughs> I I don't know if she wants to be locked wait, into that. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. You, J- Jeremy mentioned Mozgov. Was that Lakers? Yes, that okay. was the six year eighty four million a score dollar Lakers deal. Lakers. Lakers. Yeah. I feel like that opened oh. up the free agent mar- free agent uh, period of that year. That was like the first announced deal or something. Yeah, that and then I think that was the same summer they signed Luol Dang too. Uh, oh, I, ne- oh, I need you to stop the disrespect of comparing <laughs> Sasha Banks to Timothy Mozgov. I'm just going to need that to happen immediately. This is why she left, by the way, because of people like you. <laughs> so, so WWE, I, wa- I wanted to ans- answer John S's question. Do we think Sasha's walkout and reported attitude towards the booking prior to that impacted her perceived value or have Charlotte and Becky just carried more in their eyes? Uh, I-, I would say it's probably a little of both. Obviously, Charlotte is seen um, at the tippy top because of her lineage, because of her pops. And also, I know Charlotte gets a lot of crap. I, I still think that she's got a lot left uh she she's in her i think she's in her mid-30s by at, at this point but um i, I still really th- there there's been some shaky times for her o- over the over the last couple years but i still think there's something uh in her she's just so athletic and you know yeah. I, I think she can she can she's she's still got uh a couple of good years some good years left and becky is just the ultimate person who who they want right she's a company woman she's a great character um she is perceived by the fan base as a, an absolute star and from from everything i i've heard she's just a really really good person too uh and for sasha yeah she's probably been a little bit more difficult um and that's not what they want they want someone to be a soldier when they want them to to be a soldier and then when they don't have room for them anymore, then they they let them go. And that's kind of been how that company has worked. And so for Sasha, um, she's bet on herself. She's probably done some things that the a lot of the fan base probably sees as uh, negative, right? As walking out. You know, Michael Cole said it on uh, on the show that day that you know, they walked out and they tried to shame them and and everything. And, and that's that's a, that's the playbook, though. They did the same thing when Austin walked out. They did yeah. the same thing when Brock was unhappy. Like they just want to bury you so that you will take less. And Sasha was like, sorry, guys, I'm not going to do that. Here's the question that is still unanswered for me. How did she get out of them just not tacking on time to her contract? How is her contract actually up? That's that's sort of the unanswered question. And I know uh, I've talked to Dave about this and he thinks maybe it's just like, well, I mean, he doesn't know for sure, but he said maybe they just thought that they would be in her good graces and, and they chose that route. Uh, but I, I here's, here's what I think is going to happen. I don't know anything. Um, I, I've, I literally have no idea what's going to happen, but I see this as she's going to play as many sides as humanly possible. She's going to do the stardom thing. I think she's going to possibly do some stuff in AEW. Um, does that mean she's going to sign a contract? I would say no. But then Dragon Lee just signed with WWE based off of him doing a match in AEW uncontracted. So maybe Tony doesn't do that. But maybe Sasha is a big enough star to where he's like, yeah, you know, short deal. You come in for these matches and, and you know, you you work Jamie Hayter or whatever. But I still think eventually her her time is going to be in WWE. And and I have one reason why. Mercedes Monet or Mercedes Vernado, whatever, whatever her name is going to be outside of WWE, does not hit like Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is the single best pro wrestling name WWE That's has right. come up with in this era. Really and her name value as Sasha Banks 
means way more than her name value as Mercedes. So for good business, I think she works. She works it out with WWE. Triple H hopefully is going to be amenable to some of the things that she wants to do outside of wrestling where Vince wasn't. It just makes so much more sense to me that she eventually ends up in WWE. But if I was to answer my own question, I think she wrestles in AEW first. That's that's Ooh. my answer. 